just now we'll discuss about the anatomy of the spinal tract tract is a collection of the nerve fiber in the central nervous system this can be divided into descending tract and ascending tract descending tract can be further divided into pyramidal tract and extra pyramidal tract so we'll discuss here is diagram of the cerebrum as you know this is caudate nucleus here is this is thalamus so this is thalamus this is caudate nucleus and here is lentiform nucleus this is lentiform nucleus here is position of the this is midbrain and here is pons this is pons this is basilar part of the pons this lower part is basilar part of the pons and here is medulla oblongata this part is pyramid descending fibers passes through this pyramid is known as pyramidal fibers and the tract is known as pyramidal tract so below this is spinal cord this is spinal cord if you see this is here lies pyramidal cells pyramid cells of the bed these are the pyramid cells of the bed from here the fiber passes through corona radiata then passes through the posterior limb of the internal capsule then through genu and from here it passes through the middle three fifth of the crust cerebri and from here it passes to the basilar part of the pons and from here it passes through this passes through this pyramid this is pyramid then it passes through the pyramid and from here at the level of pyramidal decussation fibers about 75 per, per, uh, percent fibers goes to the opposite side into the lateral corticospinal tract this is lateral corticospinal tract here 75 percent cross and goes opposite side and here is anterior corticospinal tract here 20 percent fiber passes through the anterior corticospinal tract and at the same side and about 5 percent fibers passes through the same side of the lateral corticospinal tract and before termination these ipsilateral fibers at different level of the spinal cord they cross and goes to the opposite sides ultimately all fibers of the corticospinal tract cross the midline and goes to the opposite side 75 percent crosses here and these two 20 percent and 5 percent passes at different level of the spinal cord before termination here from here the fibers here synapse with this the anterior horn cells and also these fibers also after crossing to synapse with the anterior horn cells at different level this 75 percent 
is at level of pyramidal taxation and rest at different level before its termination. And from here, fibers goes to the respective muscles. So these are the corticospinal fibers passes through pyramids. That's why it is known as pyramidal fiber. And clinically, it contains also corticonuclear fibers. This is corticonuclear fiber here passes through the genome and passes through medial part of uh, this crust cerebri and here it crosses goes to opposite side. So corticonuclear fiber gives supply to the cranial nerve nuclei and crosses most fiber crosses and goes opposite side. So these are cranial nerve nuclei. Suppose this is oculomotor nerve nuclei and here it passes through the cranial passes through the cranial nerve nuclei. This is the corticonuclear fiber. This is the corticonuclear fiber. Also there is corticobulbar fiber. If there is any lesion above this termination, this is upper motor neuron. If lesion is above to this, then there is palsy to the opposite side, counter palsy. And this, this is upper motor neuron and this part, this is lower motor neuron from anterior half cell to the muscle. This is lower motor neuron, this part. If this part is affected due to any lesion, then there is palsy of the opposite side of the body. This is why, because of this upper motor neuron controls the activity of the lower motor neuron fibers. If there is any lesion here, then there, this is due to unopposed action over the lower motor neuron, this palsy is the affected part here become hyperactive and palsy is known as spastic paralysis. So this is all about the tract of the spinal cord. Thank you.